Hey guys, back from my uh, weekend with the uh, Philly, Philly YouTube guys, and I got a few things to show you. A little Will Randolph action there for you. Um, I'll show you my pickups first. This came from an auction. Then I have a PSA set registry thing, and then I have some TTMs. So first one, 1970 Cardinals rookies with ex-Red Sox player Reggie Cleveland in the middle. Really good relief pitcher and sometimes starter. The other guys, not sure, but I will look them up and see if they sign. 1971 Marv Stale. Got to be a tough name for a pitcher. Into the game comes Stale. All right. Putting his fear into my heart. 1971 Rushing Leaders. Going to send that to Steve Owens along with the Steve Owens card. Maybe see if I can get Brockington and the other guy to sign. Uh, this is a... I want to say it's a 68. I think it is. Uh, tops. Mr. Tom Maddy. That one will be going out. And then I have this uh, AL Playoffs card with Brooksy and Mark Belanger. And then I got... I couldn't pass this up, even though I think he's a dink. Sorry, I'm a Red Sox fan. I still think he's a dink. Uh, 50 cents for that, for the 80, 1980 as. That works for me. And then uh, 69 Tops Rookies, Tom Griffin and Skip Gwynn. And finally, my pickups would be a 1964 Louis Aparicio Big Card. So those are my pickups. Um, as for the PSA registry thing, uh, this guy right here, Mr. Pryor McElveen. He uh, he didn't play very long, only uh, three years, and this was his last year, 1911. Um, he was a uh, utility guy, played a lot of different positions, mostly third base, but even caught a few games. And he wasn't much of a hitter, uh, pretty good fielder though they said. And he ended up after uh, after his time with the Dodgers, he went back and he coached at his alma mater at Carson Newman. This got got a nice back there with the sweet caparel, which is not a tough back here. Um, this is number five for me. In this set, it did not move me up. Um, I tend to notice that I, I, I'll i take threes, I'll take twos. It doesn't make any difference to me. Some of these guys only have one card and they're sevens and they're, you know, Chief Bender or, or Ty Cobb, but they only have one card and they're ahead of me. But I have more cards than they do, but I guess they're in better shape or whatever. I don't care. <laughs> All right, my TTMs. 1970 tops or 69. I always get them mixed up. Uh, this guy was a quarterback for the Cleveland Browns, and he was their quarterback in 1964 when they won their last championship. And he did inscribe that for me as I asked him to, Mr. Frank Ryan. Came out really nice. It's weird. He signed it in blue, and then I mean in black, and then he wrote in blue the '64 champs. And then my second one, this guy was a pitcher for a while for the Cubs and the Reds and then the Pirates. Um, he was uh, he was a relief pitcher. Pretty good one for a few years for the Pirates. Um, 26 saves, 17 saves. Pretty good, pretty good pitcher. And he signed it in blue for me, Mr. Bill Landrum. So those are my pickups. Want to tell you guys, you ever get to, if you if you're close to Philly and you ever get a chance to go down and meet Ray, Ray from Philly, Caesar from Phil's fan, uh, Ed Wesker, Ed from Wesker Griff and Mike O, uh, it's well worth the trip, guys. They're, they I had a blast, man. I really did. I had a, I had a great time down there with those guys, and um, if you get the chance, go down and see them. And I uh, hope everybody has a great weekend. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to be gone for the week to Jersey, so 
uh, I'll be making some, maybe I'll maybe I'll bring some packs with me to open or I'll get a box or something this week. Otherwise, I don't know. I'll talk to you.